Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. And Scramble Words is an easy and engaging way to teach a definition, to practice your listening skills in a second language. ¿Dónde aprendió usted español? To teach literary or artistic texts. Or any other sentence you can think of. To create your unscrambled words, we just need your list of sentences. We will scramble the words so your players have to put them in order. They can click on a word to change it for the one in the active box, or drag and drop it to change it for any of them. In any case, it is possible to get two right guesses at the same time if the two words they move are put in place in the same movement. For a plus of excitement, you can set a time limit or a finite number of lives. They will lose a life each time they put a word in a wrong place and each time they run out of time. The first thing you are going to do, which you may have already done, is clicking on New Activity and choose Unscramble Words. If you don't have an account or you are not signed in, it will ask you to do it. You are now inside the creator, ready to write the first sentence you want your players to put in order. If you use line breaks to write verses, for example, your players will have to order just the words inside of each verse. Right above, you have a space to give a question with text and a multimedia element that can be a picture, an animated GIF, or an audio that you upload or record. This field has a great background because it is optional. It might happen that your players don't need any extra information for them to guess each sentence. You need just one sentence to create a game, but you can add many with the button Add Sentence or clicking on the Duplicate button if the one you want to create is similar to one you already have. You can click on any sentence to open and close it, to edit it, or to check everything is okay. With the Delete button, you can erase them, but be careful, because once you do it, it can't be undone. Dragging and dropping this button on the left, you can change the order in which your sentences appear. However, if you want it, you can make your sentences to appear randomly. It's easy, just go to Options and click on Shuffle Order. By default, your games don't have limits of time or lives, but you can change it here. With the Lives option, you can set the game to end if your players make a number of mistakes. With the Time option, you can set a number of seconds your players have to order each sentence. If time runs out before they finish unscrambling a sentence, the game will go to the next screen without them being able to get the points of the words they still had to order, and they will lose a life if you set the option on. With any premium account, you can use advanced options such as setting a background picture, setting the activity as private, having a message appear when players pass the activity, or not showing the correct answers when they finish. If you are premium commercial, you can also customize the activities with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. If yours is not in the EducaPlay database, you can set the recommended age or the area of knowledge instead. In any case, to make your activities easier to classify, you will have to set a minimum of three tags, which you can separate by commas or by pressing enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the publish button. It may happen that the activity cannot be published because you are missing some mandatory fields or because it does not meet the minimum quality standards. If that's the case, when you click on publish, a message will appear warning you of what you have to change. If everything is okay, then your activity is published. Congratulations! Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.